Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. This video today, as per the title, is for the Maxi Cis. This time on a Fiat, on a 2008 Fiat Punto 1.2 active petrol. And um, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start the engine. I'm going to do this with the engine running to keep the battery charged. It should not uh, interfere, it should not influence the video. Uh, this down here was the best place I found There's a there's for the for the glare and stuff. So I hope it's okay. And let's gonna try it. The auto detect. See if it works. And it doesn't work. So we're gonna cancel. Let's gonna go to Fiat, see if it detects the car under the Fiat program. It's gonna go to auto selection, read the VIN. Taking some time. Okay, it failed to read the VIN. So we're gonna try to put the VIN manually, which I think the VIN is here anyway. If I put the VIN manually, it's gonna press OK. And it detects the core. Let's press yes. I hope the glare is there is a bit I can't I've tried different places but okay so there is two menus here one for odd function which self-explanatory guys uh, if we don't find some of these functions in the in the other screen we'll come back here but everything is quite self-explanatory let's gonna go to diagnosis auto scan and let him do his thing Quite quick. Auto scan finished, and it found six modules. Uh, faults on most of them, so let's gonna go there. Forget this information because some people likes to see the codes. I will show you the codes. They are all stored anyway. Come back while we're here. It's going to erase the codes. The engine is running, but sometimes it works. There we go. So let's going to go to live data. There's a good amount of live data. Some data takes a little bit to load here, but... But it loads the data, so...
Okay, so this is my lab data. Oh dear. Uh, okay, active tests. Okay, self-explanatory. There's no need to take you through. Uh, system test, not really sure. Oh, is to, okay, reset adaptations and stuff. Special functions. Kind of self-explanatory as well. Let's go back. So, ABS. Okay, there's no oh, US codes in there, so let's gonna read the codes. Erase the codes. Some modules they refuse to raise to erase the codes if they detect the engine is running. Some other ones, <laughs> even though it tells you, uh, you can just uh, still erase the codes, no problem. Live data. Uh, that earlier when I was coming out from the live data in the engine uh, ECU and then I've lost communications uh, It's not the first time that happens on Fiat Not really sure if it's a bug on the software um, I had it on a, On a, there we go. It's not the first time I have this problem with the program with the Fiat program. Let's gonna try once more So as you can see in there, for example, the brake pedal, if I press, it's a little bit slow to respond, I'm gone. It's not even detecting that. Unless it's not that, that brake switch in there. Brake light. It should be that one. Ah, there we go. It's gonna lose it again. Is is I found this problem on some fiats, so it might be that there is a, a software issue. That might get resolved on a near future update. Uh, what what is this? Active active tests, so self-explanatory as well. The glare is getting worse. Special functions. Self-explanatory as well. It's gonna go back. Because I've gone, airbags. No codes, uh, live data. Let's see what we have on live data. I always like to see what airbags shows me on live data. Serial numbers. Not really worried about that. Unbolt, blah, blah. Counters. Ah, uh, I love this. I love to see these on live data. Sorry about that, guys. I'm I'm with this horrible cough. I'm actually going to see the doctor this afternoon about it. <laughs> but as I was saying, I love to see this. I love to see this live data. These resistance on the circuits, on airbags. You guys know I do love to see this. It's very helpful when you are looking for problems to resolve issues. Okay, live data here seems to be working, unless it's going to fail now. No, it worked fine. 
So yeah, it's working fine here. Uh, ECU configure information. Hmm. Doesn't seem that I can do nothing here. Don't know why. Why it shows me this, but some information. Okay, it's gonna go back. Uh, instrument cluster. There was no faults. Live data. Come on, camera. Guys, let me, let, let me see if I can find a better place. Hey guys, don't know if it's going to be any better here, but... So this is my live data on my instrument cluster. It is a little bit slow to load the live data, and that is if it's not going to fail as well. No, it didn't yet. Active tests, self explanatory as well on this. Special functions. Body control module. Okay, the codes, most of this is going to be for bulbs, because I've been changing some bulbs on it as well. As you can see, light uh, switch, stop light, blah, blah, blah. So I knew about all this. They are all stored anyway. It's going to go back. That's going to erase that while we're here. Okay. It's going to go to live data. Live data here, updating much, much quicker, as you can see. Oop. Spoke too soon. Okay, a little bit of info here about the immobilizer and a lot of text here. And we lost communication. Okay. Let's try it once more. And I'm gonna pull it straight down to about where we were. Somewhere around here, I believe it was. Lost communication. I'm gonna try one more. And I'm gonna pull it all the way down. See if it loads. Nope. Okay. Now very good, active tests, self-explanatory, this is for the body control module, this is just information, it's not that you can change anything here, it's just to show you, too quick, this is just to show you what is configured on the body control module, so obviously depending on the car this is going to be slightly different.
and special functions blinking lights configuration change um, country code exit logic so all this is kind of self-explanatory and program keys the function is here if it works I don't know let's go back and last one electronic power steering it's gonna read the codes <laughs> so something for the engine I think that was me actually because I think I unplugged the module with the key on which you shouldn't do but I think I've done it let's see if it still allow me to delete this okay it's gonna go to live data No, live data. Let's gonna try once more. And it's a straight fail. Special functions, steering angle, calibration. And that was the last module. Yes, it was the last module. Um, what to say quite good quite a lot of functions um, uh, the live data okay the live data uh, very good amount of live data it is a shame that we have this communication problem um, as I said um, I've noticed this in the past on other fields um, so it might be that it is well it is a software problem uh, the Fiat software, I strongly believe it's going to be that the issue. And I got interrupted and I don't know where I was. Uh, live data, yes. Um, yes, live data. Uh, I, I had this problem on other Fiat's. Um, I, I, I've noticed this in the past. Uh, there is a good amount, amount of live data. It's just a shame that sometimes doesn't work. Um, it might be that uh, Autel is going to release a, a software version that's going to correct that. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do a scan and I'm going to report this to Hotel so they can rectify the issue. And this was the and this is is the hotel for this car. And that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope there's some information here uh, that you're going to enjoy it. You're going to like it. You can take it further. I'm not sure. It might help you or not. Make a decision on get one of these. And I got interrupted again. <laughs> Right, right, anyway, the video is done, uh, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, put them below. And like always, guys, thanks so much for watching.